I'm assuming that no one viewing this video has been living under a rock. But just in case you have, the markets have had a rough start to the year. The Nasdaq has finished its worst month in nearly 14 years, failing more than 14% in April and now down more than 22% for the year. So far, the S&P 500 has dropped more than 9% in the previous month and is down more than 13% for the year. Not to add that people keep bringing up the subject of a recession and whether or not one is imminent. Overall, the markets have been quite volatile, and things appear to be deteriorating. However, dividend and income investors understand that when the markets as a whole fall, this is the perfect opportunity for those of us looking to buy a good dividend or income company. It's even better if you have some money set aside that you may use to invest in order to buy more shares of your preferred dividend stocks, and so obtain a greater payment amount. So although growth investors have had a pretty bad 2022 so far, Dividend and income investors have been lying back, relaxing, and getting those dividend distributions. In today's video, we'll look at one company in particular that has continued to do very well while delivering a dividend yield of more than 11%, according to Yahoo Finance. Not only that, but the company has been able to consistently increase its yearly dividend payment amounts for more than 15 years and counting, even amid the COVID and financial crises, which is rather remarkable. When compared to other high-paying dividend companies, there aren't many that have been able to provide such better returns to owners. By the way, do give the video a like if you're enjoying our content so far, and give the channel a subscription. So with everything out of the way, let's get started. Hercules Capital with the ticker symbol HTGC is the firm we'll be looking at today. Hercules Capital is a business development firm that offers venture debt, senior secured loans, and growth capital to priority-held venture capital-backed firms at various stages of development. The company prefers to invest in firms that have been in operation for 6 to 12 months prior to the date of investment, and they prefer to focus on the technology, renewable energy, and life science sectors. Hercules Capital prefers to invest between $10 million and $25 million in any company for which it provides finance. They're also a more established business development firm, having been started in 2003. Hercules Capital is currently trading for $16.80 per share, with a dividend yield of around 11.5%. When you consider both their base dividends and special dividends, you can see that the company has been able to increase its dividend distributions every year since at least 2006. That's quite outstanding considering that during the 2008 financial crisis, most business development businesses were compelled to reduce their dividends. The company has recently provided shareholders with a substantial amount of special distributions, but you can see that the amount they've paid in base dividends has also continued since 2006. Over the course of this company's existence, its share price has increased by more than 31%, which is rather impressive for BDC. The share price of HTGC has plummeted by about 8% in the last 5 days, so if it weren't for the recent market volatility, it would be much higher. But I'm not worried about this company because it's been through much worse difficulties without having to slash dividend distributions. The stock price has currently risen more than 27% over the last 5 years, which is rather good for a BDC given that most of these companies have a fairly stable share price while delivering a 7-8% dividend yield. We can observe that 94% of their investments are in floating rate loans when we break down their investment portfolio. A variable rate loan is a sort of debt in which the interest rate fluctuates over time. So essentially, when interest rates climb, Hercules Capital will be able to make more revenue from their debt assets. However, raising interest rates can be a double-edged sword because while higher interest rates means more money, it will also mean that more borrowers may fail on their loans and so be unable to repay Hercules Capital. As a result, higher interest rates can be both positive and negative consequences. Hercules Capital, as previously said, primarily invests in the technology and life science areas. 39.7% of their debt is invested in medication discovery and development companies, but they're also invested in a variety of other businesses, like 23andMe, a popular genealogical company that I'm sure many of us are acquainted with. You simply submit your saliva and mail it to them, and they're supposed to tell you where your ancestors originated from. Several prominent side gig firms such as Lyft, Postmates and DoorDash have also made significant investments in their technology. Their loan portfolio is made up of 97% enterprises with a market capitalization of $2.06 billion. 
With a debt investment portfolio of over $2.22 billion, Hercules is one of the largest BDCs in the business. Before I go into detail regarding their techniques, please like this video and subscribe to our channel as it would be very appreciated. Now let's get back to the video. One of Hercules' key objectives is to invest in firms that are rapidly expanding during their venture development stage. When looking at BDCs, always look at their financials and look for a few things, like the NAV or net asset value, which is a critical indicator for BDCs. NAV refers to the total assets minus total liabilities of a company, or for a bank, it is the total amount of debt in their portfolio. You don't want to observe a consistent fall in a BDC's NAV because it indicates that their investment portfolio is diminishing. It always points to the corporation having to decrease its dividend sooner or later because they are bringing in less interest from their debt. The good news for Hercules Capital is that their NAV has been gradually heading upward, which has always helped allow for increased payouts over time. These findings appear to corroborate what they claim in their investor presentation. When dividends were reinvested, they say that their stock beat a peer group of other BDCs during the last 1, 3, 5, and 7 years. One BDC to compare this to is Ares Capital, ticker symbol ARCC. They have an excellent management team behind them, and they've been able to reward shareholders with some very exceptional returns. So with that in mind, it may be a good idea to compare these two and see how Hercules stacks up against Ares. When we analyze the performance of both firms beginning on June 9, 2005, when Hercules Capital's IPO took place, we can see that Ares just beat out Hercules. Ares marginally outperforms Hercules with an average annual return of 12.21%. So this finding is positive. If you desire a diverse high-yielding BDC section of your investment portfolio, investing in both companies would be a fantastic plan. In fact, Hercules Capital outperformed many of the other popular dividend growth companies over the same time period. Hercules completely surpasses P&G stock by an extra $20,000 in value. Comparing it to 3M, another well-known dividend growth company, their stock has been destroying itself over the last year, and you would have made even more money with Hercules Capital. Don't get me wrong, I understand that investing outside of a retirement account will result in greater taxes, but investing in these types of holdings can produce substantially larger returns than many of the popular dividend growth businesses such as Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. Even if you primarily invest for income, you should always maintain a portion of your portfolio dedicated to growth holdings, especially if you are young. The best strategy to ensure growth in an income portfolio is to add SCHD, which is a great dividend growth ETF that is well diversified and has a low expense ratio. To recap, Hercules Capital is one of the finest performing business development companies in the sector, and it's an option worth considering for a high yield dividend portfolio. You've seen that it has an incredible track record of uninterrupted dividend increases every year for over 15 years and counting, and even Ares Capital couldn't escape the 2008 financial crisis without cutting its dividend. Only Hercules and a few other BDCs can boast such a feat. When dividends are reinvested, despite being a high-yielding stock, HTGC outperforms several of the most popular dividend growth stocks. So in the end, Hercules Capital is a good choice for a higher-yielding portfolio, but as always, it's best to research before investing in any stock or ETF and diversify your portfolio across different holdings in different sectors to reduce the amount of risk you're exposed to. Okay, that concludes today's video and thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you found this video useful, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.